that you claim can be tapping my ring. This song is amazing. Obviously, by the title, we are talking about Jay Z and Beyonce's new song, Ape Shit. <laughs> Have you ever seen a crowd going ape shit? I have. I've been in a lot of crowds that went ape shit. I love it. I think it's got such a great vibe to it. Such a great dark undertone. It's, oh, it's so nice to see them together again. We've had a lot of great collabs with them. We've had Upgrade You. How can we ever forget Drunk in Love? Drunk in Love. That'll be the only time I try to do that. Beyonce, if you're watching this, we <laughs> You are totally not. I'm sorry for that. And I will also take an email about the tour that you want me to come and join you on. Okay, done. <laughs> Moving on. It is such a great song. It literally, when I'm walking down the street and I listen to this song, it literally fills me up. Like, I'm just like, uh, uh. I'm like, it's coming out of me. The devil is coming out of me, just like it comes out of them. <laughs> But I love it. The video, 6.5 minutes, um, it's great. It has this, it's shot in the Louvre, obviously in Paris, but it has this very opposite sort of feel of coming to America. Starring Eddie Murphy when Eddie Murphy was still relevant. Eddie Murphy, if you're watching this, I hope you're not because I don't really like you. You fucked over my girl Scary Spice and that's where I draw the line. Okay. Posh once said, I hate Eddie Murphy, and I said, me too, but why? But now we know why. We don't like him because he my girl, Mel B. But her is getting a lot of money from him, so we're over it. Moving on. My favorite thing about this video is the choreography, the darkness when they're on the stairs and they're like levitating kind of. It's, it's so cool. It's so Beyonce. Beyonce's gotten a lot darker um, ever since her release of Beyonce. You... The, Let's talk about the fact that this bitch does not do promotions. This bitch legit just drops shit. I know this is not a Beyonce album. It is The Carters. But it's still it's, it's her formula. It's her way of doing things. She literally just drops shit. This song came out uh, almost two weeks ago. I'll be posting this on Friday. But it came out on June 16th. Which is my birthday. Thank you so much guys for knowing that and releasing it um i love you i mean let's talk about the shady shit behind it they were probably sick and tired of seeing north's birthday all over everything and they were like let's shut kim down and release an album kimberly i love you but that's probably what they did you know that time you bought kanye a car and beyonce bought her majet yeah that's in the song Right, so, uh, I just wish that Kim Kardashian, no, no, I wish Beyonce would get over her shit and befriend Kim Kardashian. Do you know what would happen then? We'd get another throne. We would finally get to see Jay-Z and Kanye back together. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's what I want. I think it's what the whole world wants. It's for the four of them to be friends. The fact that North has not played with Blue yet is insane. But I'm digressing. We need to get back onto the topic of this song. Hey, one night when you say I'll make you famous. I love it. It gives me such life. The fact that it was out on my birthday makes it even better. That's really all I got for you. I fucking love this song, and I just wanted to talk about it. I wanted to shoot the shit a little bit and obviously spill some tea. And that's what you got. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you next week with maybe another Taste Test Tuesday. You know I'm gonna post it. Bye. Remember, guys, if you want to see my videos and get notified about them, you have to subscribe, and you gotta hit the bell, or you won't know.